Okay, I can't believe I'm doing a back to school video already and it's only August 4th. Normally I do these after my birthday, but I start school like six days after my birthday this year, so I guess I have to do it now. Hey guys, it's Morgan. Is, is Morgan? Hey guys, it's Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a back to school haul for 2019. I'm gonna be a freshman. It's gonna be great. Um, I, my first back to school haul, I was going into the seventh grade. Yeah, yeah. My first back to school haul, I was going to the seventh grade, and now I'm going to high school. That's really crazy. But my backpack this year is a Vera Bradley backpack. It's just all gray, and it's really big and spacious. That's why I bought it. And I got this at the outlet mall, and I got it for so cheap. I also got a matching lunchbox to go with it. It's just a plain, it's just the quilted with lunchbox in it. Looks exactly like my backpack. First, I'm gonna show you guys everything that couldn't fit in my bag, and then I'm gonna show you guys um, everything that's in my bag. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I have are mechanical pencils, and I know I was hating on these in my last back to school haul, saying how I didn't like mechanical pencils. My wooden pencils were really not working for me last year, so I thought I'd just try mechanical pencils and give them another chance. Yeah. And then I got some flashcards. I just got ruled index cards. I got three packs of 100, because um, I just don't know if I'm gonna need them to study or what. And then I got some loose leaf paper, just to keep in case I needed some loose leaf paper or needed some extra paper for some of my classes. And then I got these Sharpie Clearview highlighters. These are my favorite highlighters ever. You guys know I don't use any other highlighters other than the Sharpie Clearview highlighters. You know when you're highlighting at the end of the sentence and you like go through like half the rest of the page? Like that's what I do. This you can see what you're highlighting and this has more colors. Um, it comes with a blue, a purple, and like a coral color. The next thing I have is this. It's a five star accordion folder. This is just for overflow paper. So if the papers don't fit in my binder and my binder gets too big, I'll just put them in here in its designated spot. So the first thing I have in my bag is my wallet because you always need a wallet with me with me, yeah, with you. Um, this is my guest wallet, so I always keep a wallet in my bag. Pocket up here, I have a pencil case, and this one's also from Vera Bradley. So basically, the top has like a zipper, and you open it, and it has all vinyl on the inside, so you don't have to worry about your pencil scratching up like the nice like um, canvas inside of your pencil case, and then you flip it over, and you get half vinyl and half canvas, so you can put like pens and pencils and everything, uh, pens and highlighters and stuff like that. And then I have some erasers. I literally never bought erasers before in any of my back to school hauls, but this year my erasers were literally, um, my pencils were running out so bad. Like I had to get new erasers. I erase everything because I'm a perfectionist. So I got some a three pack of paper mate erasers, so I don't have to worry about like asking people for pencils for just their erasers because that's really weird. And then the last thing I got was this planner and it's gray and it matches my backpack and it's for 2019-2020, obviously. The next thing I have in my bag and the last thing I have in my bag are a bunch of binders. Uh, I got seven binders for all seven of my classes. Um, and I know people will probably think I'm crazy, but I honestly think it's so much better to have one binder for each class instead of a big binder, big binder for like all your classes, I don't know why. I just think that it's so much easier. I got a purple binder, with a purple like notebook in it. I got a black binder with a upside down binder, a black binder with a black notebook, green binder with a green notebook, a red binder with a red notebook, upside down binder with a red notebook. <laughs> and then I got a pink binder with a pink notebook. I don't know why I say pink like that. What the heck? I said pink. No. And then I got a blue. Ah! I got a blue binder with a blue notebook on the inside. Say it with me this time. I got a white binder with a non white binder, but a white and black notebook because they didn't have white notebooks when I was at the store. Basically, everything that I have for school this year, as of now, um, I know it's probably gonna expand as I get into the year and as I get my syllabuses for all my class, classes. I almost forgot guys, in the back there's also a holder for my laptop. Obviously my laptop's not in here right now, but I will put my laptop in here when school starts. And it's just like one-sided, which is cool. But, yeah, someone tries to come up and snatch your laptop, they can't really. Okay, so that is everything that I have for you guys in my backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, you know what to do. Comment down below your number one school supply for this year, like, or for any year, like, the one thing you can't go back to school without. 
I know that now it's going to be erasers because I never knew how much you needed erasers until I entered the 8th grade and I knew that I erased everything a lot because I'm a perfectionist that can't have anything her way. Let me know what your guys' top back to school supply thing is. You know what I mean? And I'll see you guys later. Bye. I don't know what I'm doing. I really need to go. Okay, bye. <laughs>